Ciao and welcome to Marco Bites. I'm Marco and this is a new cooking series on my channel Marco in a Box where I want to introduce you to some very simple recipes from Italy with Italian ingredients so that you can also enjoy a taste of Italy in a bite. Eating Italian at a restaurant or you know, take away it can be very expensive. So why don't you try and cook some of these recipes on your own and make your own Italian meal? I'm Italian, but I'm not a great cook, which is the point of this video. It's like everyone can make Italian. Everyone can enjoy their taste of Italy in a bite. And I promise you, I won't bite you. Okay, so if you're ready, we can now start. Iniziamo. But first I need something. So hold on a second. Okay, now I'm ready to go. And Drew, are you ready for your first quick bite? So, let's go! As I said, we're gonna start with something very easy for the first time. And we're gonna make a cold sandwich with buffalo mozzarella, parma ham and basil. I love basil, it's my favorite thing about Italy. And it's gonna look like this. Better if you find some nice fresh Italian bread. I'm using a baguette, just don't tell the French, but I really like baguette. And then we need mozzarella, and not any mozzarella, we need buffalo mozzarella. Always make sure when you buy authentic Italian ingredients that this logo is on the packaging. Then of course we need some parma ham. The prosciutto you buy abroad always comes in this plastic packaging, unless you go to an Italian deli. Then my favorite ingredients of all is fresh basil. Just the smell of basil reminds me of home so much. Finally we need some olive oil and not any olive oil. Of course, we need some extra virgin olive oil. So the first step is of course cutting the bread. So you can cut a nice slice, depending how hungry you are. Then we want to put some olive oil on top of one of the two pieces of bread. Then we want to cut some nice slices of buffalo mozzarella and place it on top of the bread. Pretty much like this. Mozzarella is so good. After that, we can cover the mozzarella layer with a layer of fresh basil. And finally, we can top it all up with some nice prosciutto. Ta-da! And your sandwich is pretty much ready and it smells and looks delicious. It's so simple, but again, all the best Italian food, whether it's cold or warm, it's always simple. It looks delicious. It's now time for a Marco bite, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Mmm. Mmm. It is delicious. Buon appetito. I really hope you like this first recipe. Of course, as you could see, it's very simple. The secret of Italian food is really the ingredients. Um, so make sure you get some fresh, nice ingredients from your local grocery shop or Italian shop if you have one in your city. I really hope you like this series. I'm gonna make more videos with more Italian recipes, of course with additional complexity going forward, so it's not gonna be just cold sandwiches. But the point is that, you know, if I can cook Italian, you can cook it too. So I'll see you in the very next episode of Marco Bites. In the meantime, if you are curious to know more about Italian culture or language, just make sure you check these videos out, because I made um, more videos on how to be Italian, how to date an Italian, and how to gesticulate like an Italian. Ah, mamma mia. I'll see you soon in my kitchen again for another one of Marco Bites. Amazing. Bye. Al dente pasta should literally be pasta that you can bite and it's not too chewy and it's not raw, but it's not overcooked. So you don't want anything that's just like that's not Italian pasta, sorry. <laughs> no, that's not me.